All right, well, hello, everybody. I'm going to teach you how to set up your land school classroom, something that we probably all should know how to do and want to make sure that we take advantage of um, this year and really make sure we utilize this great tool. So the first thing that I'm going to do, I'm going to go into my Power Teacher Gradebook, and I'm going to uh, use my desktop version of this, so make sure you've got this one open. When you've done that, you're going to click on your class on the side that you want to um, import into land school. So we're not even in land school yet. We're starting in Power Teacher Gradebook. So I'm going to start with my third period class. And I'm going to go to the Reports tab. From the Reports tab, I see that I have a student roster report. I want to use that report. Then on the student roster report, I'm going to change a couple of settings. I'm going to click on export, and that's going to create a CSV file. And I'm also going to, for student info, I'm going to only have student number checked. I just need to get their ID numbers from PowerTeacher. Okay? So once I've got that done, so I've got export, I've got student number, I'm going to go ahead and hit run report. And it's going to ask, once it's done generating this report, if I want to save or open it. And I'm going to just click on Open and hit OK. And when I do that, it's going to open up a, um, an Excel file with all the ID numbers of the students from my class. What I can do, though, I need to get rid of these first two rows. So I'm going to highlight those by clicking on the numbers on the side. And then if I right click on it, I can just hit delete, or sorry, do a two finger click on it. I can hit delete so that the only thing in my Excel sheet are just the ID numbers. So I just need to make sure I have only my ID numbers in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit file and hit save as. And I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. So this is eighth grade rotation one. So this is very specific to me period three so you can name it whatever you want that makes sense to you so that you know which class it is that you're choosing for me that's very specific and it makes I know exactly what class that is and I'm also going to just change the where to my document so that I know where to find it when I need to import it into land school I'm going to leave it as a CSV file that's what we need and I'm going to go ahead and hit save you can hit continue then on that part. All right, once I've done that, I then am going to bring up Land School. I'm going to open up Land School. And here I need to um, I need to actually import this in to my uh, Land School so that it knows what to do with it. So um, I don't think you're going to be able to see this, but up at the top you'll see it says Administer. And then one to one and manage class list. So going up all the way to the top, administer one to one, manage class list. Click on manage class list. Really important, always check this, make sure it's always on login name. So this is a very important step, checking to see that the class list uses login name. The login name is their ID number, if it's not right, when we load the ID numbers in, it's going to be looking for something different, and that's not going to work. So make sure that's on login name. Then we're going to come down here, and we're going to hit Import Students. And I'm on my documents, and I see then that I've got 8th um, grade, Rotation 1, Period 3. And I'm going to go ahead and hit Open. That's going to pull in all the ID numbers for the students, and I'm going to hit Save As. And I'm going to name this. I can name it basically the same thing. I might shorten it down a little bit. Do something like that. But again, leaving this .lsc file. And then hit save. Now I can close this. And I'm going to go back up to administer. And hit one to one. And then load class list this time. So before I would manage the class list to actually make it, now I need to load it in to land school to actually be able to use it. So I hit load class list, 8th grade, R1, period 3, and I hit open. 
And when I do that, it will load in all the students that are in my class. Okay. So that's, uh, that's how you are going to load and create your class list for your students to be able to use Land School with each of your class grades. The nice thing is you only have to do that one time. So uh, previously I made my second period class. And so again, I can go up to administer one to one. You see here, here's my eighth grade rotation one period two. It's already there. I can just click on it and it's going to switch over to my second period class and there would, they would show up there. Um, and so just by going to that one to one, all the, after I've loaded the classes, they'll all show up in this section here. These are mine from last year, but you'll see that I've got these ones in there that I can just click on. Just remember to always make sure you dismiss the class at the end of the period. Otherwise, they'll still be loaded in when they go to their next class. So make sure that you dismiss that class at the end of the period. Okay. All right. So I'm going to make another video here and you can see a few tools that you can use with Land School and how you can really utilize some of the features that um, are listed or that are available with Land School.